A lot of people think that vintage Pokemon cards are just out of their price range. I'm here today to tell you that is not the case. We're going to be building an entire complete set of Pokemon Fossil on a budget. What's going on everybody? Travis from Next Level TCG here and we are back at it again building some of the most nostalgic Pokemon TCG sets in history and we're continuing the series with Pokemon Fossil. That's right, one of the original three sets with base set, jungle, and fossil. We've already done base set and jungle here on the channel so go check those out in the description. Go check the playlist. You guys will be able to find them but today is all about fossil, fossil, fossil. When a lot of us get back into the hobby, we always want to go back in time and check out our old collections. And if you're like me, they're just gone. I've never been able to find my old vintage binder anywhere. I'm not sure what happened. I'm pretty sure my dad sold them in a garage sale for like two cans of corn and 87 cents. Now, you may not be able to get a complete fossil set that cheap anymore, but it is easier than ever and actually a lot more affordable than people think to complete vintage sets. So let's go ahead and start diving right in. We're going to review all the holographic cards one by one, and then we're going to break down a full price, including every single common and uncommon card at the end so you know exactly how much you can anticipate to pay to go back in time and feel like a kid again. So the two major places that I'm gonna be picking up singles to complete this set are gonna be TCG Player and then a, a website that maybe some of you are not familiar with called CoolStuffInc.com. They are a local card shop in Central Florida, so they are a very reputable source. They've been around for a long time. They're good sellers, and I actually use them to get all of my common and uncommon vintage cards. They have the best prices, and you can buy them all in one place so you know that they're going to be arriving safe and secure and you're going to be getting everything. I've never had a problem with them. And that is exactly what we did today over on Cool Stuff Inc. I got all of the non-holographic cards, including the non-holographic rares that you get in this set, similar to Jungle, which is different from base set Pokemon. But I was able to get all common, uncommon sets, uh, cards, and the non-holographic rares for $105 shipped over on Cool Stuff Inc., not too bad of a start. Let's talk about some hollows. So the first two hollows we're gonna be talking about in today's video are gonna be the two holographic cards that come inside the fossil theme decks. And first up is by far the most affordable holographic card in the entire set. And that is the Muck holographic that comes inside the bodyguard theme deck. You can get this over on TCG player right now in near mint condition for about $4 to $4.50. The most affordable holographic, very common. There are tons of them available. You can easily often find them at other trading areas, uh, like at events, things like that, and even on eBay for even less than that. So keep her out for the muck. You can get it for a steal, a couple bucks, but consistently $4. And then following up is the Lockdown theme deck that actually came with a significantly more fan favorite Pokemon in Lapras. Because it is such a fan favorite, it does carry a little bit more of a price tag of near mint right now of about $14. Now, if Lapras was not inside the theme deck, I do think that it would be one of the most expensive holographics in the entire set. But because it came in the Lockdown theme deck, it comes in around $14 bucks in near mint condition. Again, you can often find this card even cheaper over on eBay and oftentimes local game stores, things like that. It's a very, very common card considering it was 25 years ago. So Lapras and Muck are the first two we're going to talk about. Four bucks, 14 bucks, respectively. All right, now moving on to the hollows that you would actually have to pull inside of the fossil booster packs. The holographic magneton comes in at about $10.50 to $11 in near mint condition. So effectively, the second most affordable magneton or holographic card in fossil is magneton and is more than twice of what the muck is. That shows you how affordable the muck is. Um, but magneton doesn't see much love anymore in terms of like ultra rares because it did get a evolution of magneton. Magnezone, so it's no longer the last form of the Magnemite line. So these vintage Magneton cards with the holographics like here in Fossil are actually fairly unique and I think are pretty good, pretty cool pickups, but $10.50, not too shabby. Moving forward is actually one of my more favorite cards of the set, and I'm surprised that it is this low on the value, and that is the Hypno Holographic. I love the pure 
purple background, and Hypno is actually a very cool Pokemon back in Generation 1, and it really hasn't had that third evolutionary form like you did see with like the Magneton. So it, it can at times still get that ultra rare love. I would love to see a new evolution of this Pokemon line down the road. But here back 25 years ago, Hypno Holographic coming in at around 16 bucks. Pretty sweet. It's above the Lapras and that goes to show you how high I think that Lapras would be if it was in the booster packs and not the theme deck. But Hypno is still a good pickup. All right, we're having some pretty decent jumps in price here. So we're coming in with the Ditto Holographic, another card that I'm surprised is actually this low. Ditto is a massive, massive favorite in the Pokemon games, even to this day, very unique. No other Mon works like Ditto does to this day. So I'm surprised you can still get it for about $24 in near mint condition right now over on TCG Player. It's a beautiful card. It's got like the checkered background looks amazing this would probably be one of the ones that i would pick up before anything else here in the fossil set one of my favorites hands down it's a good buy and it's only 24 bucks not too shabby so apparently i like telling you guys that things aren't too shabby including this aerodactyl holographic coming up next at 20 dollars in near mint condition i actually really like this card it's one of the few cards of the fossil set that actually has a background that's holographic as opposed to like just a color or like a checkery design like you get with the ditto so i really enjoy this card i think it's a great artwork of aerodactyl and at 20 bucks it's a nice buy also coming in at the $20 valuation in near mint condition is the Hitmon Lee. I know this is usually one of the first cards that I think of when I think about the fossil set. I really don't know why. I think it might be because I had quite a few of them when I was growing up. I just remember this artwork. It may have been one of my first holographics from the fossil set, and it actually is really cool. I thought Hitmon Lee was by far the best Hitmon, and I still think that. Don't at me, bros. I'll come at you down in the comment section, but... Hitmonlee holographic about 20 bucks near mint condition. So quite a few of these holographics are hovering around 20 bucks just like this one here and it's actually quite a surprise to have a second evolution instead of the final evolution getting some holographic love even back 25 years ago and that is the Haunter. Yes, Haunter still to this day is a huge fan favorite. People love Haunter and maybe one of the reasons why is because even back then it was getting the holographic treatment which almost no second forms did at all. So Haunter getting that hollow with the fossil set and at 20 bucks near mint condition, it's actually not too bad. I really love this card, super, super nostalgic. Now this card is the definitive card that I think of when talking about fossil and that is Kabutops. He is everybody's favorite fossil Pokemon to this day. I don't care who you are, he is the best fossil Pokemon. Maybe only Aerodactyl can come close to him, but Kabutops is so cool. The artwork is great. It is phenomenal. Holographic with the golden, like orangish, yellowish background. Looks so good. And also coming in around that $20 price point near mint. It's just sweet. Love this card so much. One of my faves. People are always talking about how Pikachu gets all the love in Pokemon as opposed to Raichu. But back in the day, Raichu was actually one of the first Pokemon to get two holographic cards in the TCG. We had your base set Raichu Hollow, and then we also got a holographic here in Fossil of Raichu as well. And then he also showed up in Team Rocket, which is the next set we're going to be talking about. So make sure you guys hit that sub button and drop the notification bell so you don't miss that because Team Rocket is the next set that we are building on a budget. But here we are with Raichu Hollow again, $20 price point for near mint condition. It seems to be where a lot of these holographics land, which is actually not too bad when you think about the price that a lot of modern cards are going for today. So Raichu looking good. So I always forget about this, another holographic card that came inside of a theme deck, or technically it was called a gift box back in the day. It was the Thunderstorm gift box, and it was the Zapdos holographic. Absolutely awesome, phenomenal holographic card. Another one, just like Raichu, where it gets its second holographic farm here in Fossil inside of that deck. It actually is going for about $14 right now in near mint condition. So it puts it right in that exact same line as Lapras. Same valuation inside of a theme deck. Pretty readily available if you do want to go pick it up. First edition on this card is worth quite a bit more than the Unlimited because it can't be found in theme decks, right? So, Holographic Zapdos from the Thunderstorm gift box. 
Not too shabby. 14 bucks. I said shabby again. Oh my God. All right, continuing down the path of the legendary birds, we're going with Articuno next. One of my favorite holographics, that baby sky blue background for a very awesome artwork of Articuno here. And right now for about $30 in near mint condition, it does take a little baby step up from the last couple of hollows that we were discussing, but it is a beautiful card and totally worth it. Legendary birds always holding strong. And not too much of a surprise here, but Moltres actually comes out on top for the leg legendary birds in terms of valuable cards here in the fossil set back in the day. So about $37, $36, $37 near mint condition for this fossil holographic. Not my favorite artwork of Moltres. It really, really looks like a chicken here, almost like a rubber chicken. It's kind of a big turnoff of a card, actually. Um, you know, subsequent artworks would be so much better for Moltres, but I do not like this artwork whatsoever. But still coming in at about $36, $37 in near mint condition is the number one legendary bird, Moltres. Okay, now we're taking a step up, and the two cards that I think are absolutely amazing for this fossil set the very first print of Gengar that's right I'm super surprised that Gengar did not get anything in base set because even back then he was an extraordinarily cool Pokemon people loved Lavender Town the ghost feelings the Haunters and the Gengar of course I do think Haunter may have stolen some of the clout from Gengar early on in the history of Pokemon but Gengar still here coming in at about $42 to $43 in near mint condition. Another step up, and we're going to continue to see that here in the last Pokemon. But Gengar, huge, huge fan favorite. The Vintage uh, Fossil Gengar is one of my favorite cards to collect and invest in because it's, Gengar never disappoints. He's always in all the games. He's always a fan favorite in the games, and his cards always do fairly well. So getting the very first rendition of it is awesome. Around $43. Bucks. Why not? I love it. All right, so now we're taking one giant step up for the pseudo-legendary of the Kanto region. That's right, the first print run of Dragonite. Who doesn't love Dragonite? People still think Dragonite is the best pseudo-legendary ever made, and they included them right in Scarlet and Violet as well, Generation 9, to show you how prominent Dragonite is. And it's a huge step up at about $72 to $73 in near mint condition, making it the number one most expensive card in the fossil set in its holographic form with first edition going for about $235. So, of course, guys, first edition is going to be very, very expensive. But even at about $73, near mint, Dragonite holographic, first print run, it's not too bad considering a lot of the prices on today's modern cards. So worth looking into. All right, so we have just, in theory, created the entire vintage fossil set by using websites like TCG Player and Cool Stuff, Inc., and we have only spent a cool $477 to complete the entire set. That is not too bad to a full vintage fossil set for under $500 with all cards in near mint condition. You could probably cut that value in half, the cost in half, if you wanted to go with something like a lightly played full complete set. But for near mint condition, around $477 under $500. Now, when you put that in perspective, a factory sealed booster pack of fossil usually ranges from in between 150 and 200 dollars consistently over on tcg player for about 180 185 but i've seen tons of listings over on ebay for quote unquote unweighed which you never really know right it's 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 quotes that's why i use quotes like obviously who really knows but for about 150 155 dollars so that's for a booster pack so for the price of two or three sealed booster packs of fossil you can complete the entire set in singles which is absolutely amazing and if you're looking for a full factory sealed booster box over on ebay right now putting together the last three or four or five uh sold listings on ebay they go for in between sixty five hundred and nine thousand dollars so let's go ahead and just put it at like seventy seven seventy eight hundred dollars for a sealed booster pack of fossil so if you want to get the singles to complete the set do not buy packs and boxes to open make sure you're buying the singles to build it and if you want the uh if you end up do buying sealed booster packs or booster boxes make sure you keep those sealed it is just not worth opening at this point in time
And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed building the Vintage Fossil uh, complete set with me today. Here on Next Level TCG, we post multiple Pokemon TCG videos every single week. So if you're into that sort of a thing, make sure you guys drop us up and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And while you're at it, smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video. It really helps us out. Let us know down in the comment section what Vintage set would you like us to build we already know the next one coming up is Team Rocket, and you don't want to miss that. So remember, if you want to level up, you got to be kind and be yourself.